Hello everyone, I want to start with tap strafe because I'm gonna combine it with almost all the other movement tricks. First of all, I want to thank Moki Sniper for bringing us this beauty months ago. He was the one who introduced tap strafing to us, so much respect and love brother. Tap strafe allows us to turn any direction in the air without losing momentum. To tap strafe, you have to bind your mouse scroll wheel to forward. You can either bind your mouse scroll wheel up or mouse scroll wheel down. But I recommend binding mouse scroll wheel up because physically it's so much easier. But after all, it's just your choice. If you feel better with mouse scroll wheel down, then go for it. So we slide jump first or just jump. And after that, we have three different things to do at the same time. One, hold A or D. Two, scroll the mouse wheel up. Three, turn to the left or to the right. It depends on the direction you want to go. For example, if you're gonna hold A, then you're gonna turn to the left. And if you're gonna hold D, then you're gonna turn to the right. So let's do it. And now let's reverse. So after this slight jump, as you can see, I let off the W key, started to hold the D key and scroll up the mouse wheel, but also I turn to the right. Know that you should never press W while tap strafing. Otherwise, this happens. If you're on controller, including console, then you cannot tap strafe. But you can do redirect instead of tap strafing. With redirect, you can do 90 degree turns in the air. But it's not possible to do more than 90 degree. After a slight jump, we can do redirect by pressing some keys in order. Let's say I want to go from here to this spot. Then I'm going to slight jump like this. And after the slight jump, I'm going to press D, S, A in order. Also, I'm going to look at the opposite direction of where I'm going at that moment which is here. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna start looking at here and also I'm gonna turn my mouse like this. When you want to do redirect to the left direction, this time you're gonna press A, S, D in order. But again, you're gonna look at the opposite direction of where you're going. The difference is, this time you're not gonna turn like this. You're gonna turn like this. Next, air strafe. To air strafe, we slightly turn right or left when we're in the air while holding A or D. It helps us to keep the speed up. But if we turn too fast, we're gonna get slow. Next we talk about bunny hopping. To bunny hop, first slight jump, then hold the crouch key and you should jump every time you hit the ground. Every time you press A, move your mouse to the left, and every time you press D, move your mouse to the right. It's highly recommended to bind your mouse scroll wheel up or mouse scroll wheel down to jump. As you can see, I jumped with scroll wheel down. Jumping with scroll wheel is so much easier than pressing spacebar. There are two ways to bunny hop. You can do it by pressing A and D, or you can do it by pressing WA and WD. 
I recommend to bunny hop without W because when you do it with W you have to make a circle to keep your speed up which means you're gonna be slower when you try to get to a spot we can use bunny hop while shooting Bunny hop can be done without holding the crouch key, which is called standing bunny hop. The difference is, this time your slide doesn't go on cooldown. If you want, you can slide after every 3 bunny hops. Bunny hop can be combined with tap streak which allows you to change your direction instantly. We can combine all these different bunny hop tricks and use it while shooting. We can also bunny hop while healing and move faster than walking normally. Next, insta slide jump. To do this, while holding a gun, start sprinting and take a few steps, press the crouch key and jump. The time between your crouch and jump must be really short. It's especially useful when combined with tap strafe and redirect all together. It can help you while reloading your gun. First, we go forward left or forward right, then sprint, take a few steps, then crouch and jump. And in order, we press ASD or DSA to redirect. When we press S, we also start tap strafing. We can also use it to change the position quickly. Next we have wall jumping. To wall jump, first slide jump onto a wall and once you touch the wall, just jump. If I go straight forward and then wall jump, I'm gonna come here. But if I do it by going parallel to the wall, it's gonna be so much faster. For some loot here. We can skip the climbing animation by doing a redirect after a wall jump. At this moment, I wall jump with scroll wheel down. After the wall jump, I press A, W, D in order. Or you can press D, W, A in order. Since tap strafe can't be done on controller, this is most useful for controller players. And this is the tap strafe version. As you can see, after the wall jump, I scroll up the mouse wheel and tap strafe. We can also tap strafe before wall jumping. This is most useful when the wall you want to bounce off is on the other side of the corner. It's usually used into skipping the climbing animation and change the position quickly. If you jump on a wall while sprinting and if you try to wall jump, you will fail most of the time because you have to touch the wall after the apex of your jump. Apex means the highest peak of your jump, or we can say, the moment you have the highest altitude after jumping. If I touch the wall after the apex of my jump, I'm gonna be able to wall jump. 
Now let's talk about low altitude wall jumps. If I jump here, I'm able to see over this wall. But if I jump again, after the second jump, I'm not going to be able to see over this wall. So, first jump, second. First, second. First jump, second jump. The game that says wall jump after a low altitude jump. So, we jump. When we hit the ground, which is at this moment, we take a small step, jump again, and then wall jump. It's especially useful when your slide is on cooldown. Which means you're not gonna wait for the slide cooldown reset to wall jump. We can even take it further and do infinite wall jump. I'm doing it without tap strafe here, so it can be done on controller, including console. This is a combination of low altitude wall jumps in a row. But when turning corners like this, tap strafe is necessary. We can wall jump on small ledges. To do this, you have to hold A or D when you touch the wall. And you shouldn't hold W when you touch the wall. Next, we have LED slide. To LED slide, you have to slide after your climbing ends. You will gain a speed boost after a LED slide, but the speed boost doesn't come directly from the LED slide. We gain the speed boost by falling. For example, if I LED slide here, I don't gain that much speed boost. It's because I'm not falling. We can do it sideways. When your climbing is about to end, Start holding D or A. I'm holding D because I want to go right. When your climbing ends, turn right or left and slide. And next, gliding. To glide, we need to jump after climbing. It's especially useful when the slide is on cooldown. When we walk with only A or D, we cannot sprint, but it's not the same situation for sideways glide. When we glide sideways, we have the same speed of sprint jumping, even though we don't hold W. We can tap shape after sideways glide. It's especially useful when something is blocking your way after climbing. Next, super glide. With super glide, we can gain insane speed boost after climbing. To do this, at the end of your climbing animation, you need to crouch and jump at the same time. Super glide can be combined with tap strafe and we can move in different directions in the air with god speed. We can still make 90 degree turns with redirect instead of tap straight. It's useful for controller players. So I wanted to go right and I pressed D, S, A in order and turn to the opposite direction of where I want to go. We can go left by pressing A, S, D in order after super glide. Next trick is edge boost. To edge boost, we need to be falling in the air with high speed. When we fall, we have to hit a non-flat surface while holding the crouch key. I really like Taxi 2G when it comes to edge boosting because it's like one of the best movement tricks he can do. As much as I know, he is working on a full movement guide video, so please check him out. So let's check this place. As you can see there's actually a line here and this one too goes like this. It means it's in another ledge other than for example this one. Let's explore this way. But the difference is I'm able to stand on this one but I cannot stand on this one. So we can edge boost on surfaces that we cannot stand on. 
Next, we have wall run. Wall run is actually wall climbing, but sideways. To wall run, after slight jumping, we have to hold A or D when we touch the wall. Also, if you hold A, slightly turn to the right. If you hold D, slightly turn to the left. With wall run, we can extend our wall jumps. Normally, I can't go from here to there with wall jump. But we can extend our wall jumps with wall run. All we have to do is jumping after wall running. We can also extend climbing. We just have to wall run sideways for a while and then climb up. Next, zipline jump dance. To do this, press the interaction key, then immediately jump, then look at the zipline, and repeat it all. Know that we can't do this more than 3 times. We can also do it with crouch. The difference is, as long as we hit the ground after every crouch, we can do it as many times as we want. We can combine these two together. As you can see, I started to do it with crouch first. And then I switch to spacebar. Next, zipline super jump. To do this, interact with zipline and jump twice. The time between these two jumps must be really short. So that's why instead of pressing the spacebar, it is highly recommended jumping with mouse scroll wheel. If you're sliding at the moment you interact with the zipline, you have to hold crouch. But it's not the toggle one, you have to hold the hold crouch key. Also, if we jump on a zipline, we won't be able to do zipline super jump. We can also do these with tap strafe. Zipline super jump with tap strafe helps us to go upstairs quickly. Also, I believe a lot of people don't know about this, but we can actually tap strafe after a normal zipline jump too. So, how do we do this? I will assume that your spacebar and mouse wheel are bound to jump. So what I do is jump in with spacebar, then interact with the zipline, and then jump with scroll wheel. But we have to press these keys like really fast. And lastly, we talk about jump pads. If we melee the jump pad, we go straight up in the air. If we hold S during melee, then we go backwards in the air. We can move in any direction by doing this. We can also move in any direction by tap strafing on jump pad. And after that, we're still able to double jump. So, as you can see, it's a slight jump and 180 degree tap strafe. We exactly do this, but on jump pad. And then we're just able to tap strafe. We can also tap strafe after the double jump. And if we want, we can do it until the end of the world. So, that's it. Thank you for watching. Oh wait, by the way, hey, you, you're right, but don't tell anyone, okay? It can be our secret.